guys going by? Welcome back to my brand of We are back with some more, literally for chapter 45. Personally, I've been waiting for this. Uh, it's been a month. I'm gonna throw this out. It's been a whole month since the last chapter. Now, to sum things up real quickly. Uh, Moro goes to Planet uh, Namek, and literally Goku and Vegeta meet up with them, of course. And uh, they're trying to get some results out of this dude. They're trying to figure out who the hell this dude is, which is what happens in this chapter, of course. So anyways, I did make a prediction last episode, of course, for this, where I said, hey, what if he's kind of like Lord Slug, where he wants to get younger and stuff so that he can, you know, get be stronger like Lord Slug. They're trying to, like, take Lord Slug representation and put it towards Moro. Except Moro can absorb shit, except Lord Slug. <laughs> Besides Lord Slug. But anyways, the case is that technically, yes, he is like Lord Slug, sort of. He wants to be younger again, so then technically he can get his power. Because he even says in the chapter, hey, I am actually weak in my state. I'm not as strong as I used to be. So technically, he's like Lord Slug. They kind of took that representation and said, hey, let's put it towards this dude. Because he's old. So why not? But anyways, besides him being old, he this man is still powerful either way, which is literally intriguing. So if the way I see is this, if he's this powerful at his state right now, over was it 10 million years he's been in prison, this guy still has it in him. He literally said in the last chapter that he literally just has enough magic, uh, just a little bit to keep him going. So, if you only got a little bit, which I don't know how much percentage it could be, it could be 10%, I'm not quite sure, but literally though, I will say this, this man is powerful no matter what. But once he started absorbing the world and stuff, he became super powerful and literally started dominating Vegeta, of course. Now, of course, with the whole chapter to sum up, Super Saiyan God, Vegeta started fighting him to figure out what's going on and why he wanted to in the first place come to Namek to get the Dragon Balls. Like I said, he wanted there to get to, because he wanted to get stronger of course. Um, he didn't really care about getting young though, that's the only thing. But he did say in his state, he is not that powerful as he used to be. But either way the case is, is that Vegeta became Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue in this case. Um, he literally became stronger for a bit and started literally beating up uh, Moro, but since Moro was absorbing the world and such, uh, he actually absorbed energy from Vegeta and who knows, maybe from Goku too. I don't know specifically, but he was absorbing literally Namekians too and stuff, so it could affect the Goku as well. I don't know for a fact. There is no uh, proof or anything that Goku got affected to this, but I will say this. Vegeta can't really transform anymore, so I'm actually kind of curious where this is going to go. Is Vegeta going to get his powers? You know, maybe he has to wait a couple of um, you know, minutes or such, maybe get a stamina back. I don't really know the case for this, but maybe Goku has some kind of chance towards this. I don't know for a fact. So, and plus also, where's the Galactic Patrol people? They're taking forever to get over there. Like, my god, you had a whole month to get there in the next chapter, and what happens? You're still in random space! <laughs> Jesus! But anyways, the case is that this is gonna be really epic. I can't wait personally for the anime to literally take this manga and just transfer it into the anime. Um, it's intriguing, I love this, uh, literally the villain is intriguing personally. Um, it's kind of different, I will point this out, he's definitely not something that you normally would see. I love how they're having the, the prospect of having magic energy against key energy, and it's intriguing. Like, this man can literally, like, make the whole, like, ground, because it, like, literally is kind of like... I wouldn't say liquid because the way the chapter looks it's like if it's water or such, but I know it's not, but it's just intriguing the way he can make it move. You know what I mean? It's not just like he can make it like stick out like a mountain, I guess, or something. Um, like you've seen uh, some older stuff from back in DBZ with uh, the energy keys where, you know, it would like shoot out uh, from the ground and such. Um, but still though, this man can like literally make things like curve and anything. Um, so even though he does have levitation, kind of like Google, though, uh, this man has got our powers that maybe we don't even know about yet. Maybe this is just a start for him. Not quite sure what's going to happen at this point, but I am definitely intrigued to see 
where this guy is going to go from here. So, other than that, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm actually curious. Are you curious as well? What's going to happen? We gotta wait till March now, which sucks personally. Um, but hopefully, the anime comes back very, very soon. Um, I'm very like wanting to see this come back personally. It's going to be really awesome. It's going to be intriguing personally, and I just can't wait to see uh, where it goes from there. But other than that, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.